Hello, Sukadin007 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. I have a good feeling about Yusuke Yorimeshi. He grows stronger as a leader every day. After the, the Dishonorisho brought to the Shinobi, I tell you, it feels good to be doing the right thing. Yes, I feel our present company is of outstanding character. I. My ears be tingling again. I feel as if I could fight every rotten demon between us and Togoro. Okay, please forgive me for the bad uh, Irish accent there. But for this battle, we're going to use somewhat of a makeshift. Uh, actually, yeah, let's use the two that we just talked to. Kurama... And here, there we go. And in the next video, on the next map, I'll use all of uh, Team Yorimeshi. So anyway, how's everyone doing? Uh, yeah, I know this video was supposed to be up at least a couple of days ago, but, you know, work and everything, I do apologize, not items. So, you know, I can't do the videos all the time. You know, I, I do have a job, I do work security, so I do have to, you know, I do have days when I need to work, and, you know, I try to stay to my schedule, but, you know, I can't help it. They call me in sometimes, so, you know, I take the extra hours. Um, on that note, right there, if I do, let's say, have one of those things where I do need, where they do call me in to work and I do have a video planned for that day the video will just be uploaded the following day so no harm no foul just want to let everybody know so Mondays I normally upload Yu Yu Hakusho and Lufia Yu Yu Hakusho over here on Sukune 7 and then over on Mastermind LPs then I take care of the Lufia and the Fortress of Doom over there. And since we really don't have anything to worry about, let's keep all them charged up. And this looks like it's going to be a somewhat of an e a map. Let's have uh, do Dragon of the Darkness Flame again. And let's see, spirit combo. Nice, 225. So, that is how everything is going to work. With that. So, don't be alarmed, you know. Oh, come on, stop picking on here. And then we'll move Karama here. Let's, uh... Can I rush with this guy? Yes, I can. I'm only gonna do 41. Alright. Hey. Damage to him is... And Toya can't do anything. Toya's still stuck there. Uh, Jin. Let's use his... Overdrive Tornado Fist. And it's 104. That's what I like about Jin. All his attacks are wind. And if you remember from the Dark Tournament, that's. Uh, let's use Mortal Flame. Uh, Toya, you can't do anything. Oh, wow, he moved. Finally! Moved out of the way, but. None of the way to deceit this guy. Meaning he'll be taking poison damage for a while. Yeah, why gloat it when we can have Toya come in here and attack with the with his ice sword. 
We all remember that from the uh, anime. Toya was the master of ice, gin, wind. Risho uh, was, I believe, earth. And uh, God, that was a bloody mess for Team UMA. They made them fight them right after they fought Dr. Uh, Ichigawa, I believe. No. How was it? I forgot. Yeah, if the, if the map shakes like that, just to let everyone know, if the map... Oh, he is in bad danger. And I'm gonna lose here. Who's got a heal item for him? I know Karama doesn't. <laughs> yeah. So we lost TA. So let's see if we can do this with four people. You know, this is like kind of like going to war. You can't make. Can't really do anything without losing a few people, but you know, they come back in the next video, more in the next map. And let's have Karama just charge up his spirit energy. Not really much I'm gonna do with Karama. Toya. I will do that. Let's see if we can get Jin to go. Yeah, we got the cats, I believe. Yeah, Jin can attack. Let's see. Move him here. He really can't do what I want him to do since he doesn't have uh, the necessary spirit energy, so. Yeah. Wow, that guy just charged 489. Alright, you know what that means? It's overdrive time, spirit gun. Hundred and fifty-four. Yep, I'm sorry if I do call out how much each attacks do, so... But... Like I was saying, so the days that I'm supposed to upload the videos if anything they will be uploaded the next day or the following day so I do apologize for keeping everyone waiting on those and I don't mean to I really don't mean to this guy do more than 76 and exactly does 76 wow so you know I don't mean to keep everyone waiting so I do work. And now I can do the... I don't Karama. I can do that attack. Yeah, they, you know, we eat those. Karama here. We're just gonna simply attack. We, we've seen the Minotaur a hundred times, so not really enough we, much we can do about that. Use K and use the good old 99. Wow. That's good. That is good. That, that's and as you know, there was a part in the game that I could not uh, go to yet. Because they were saying we were under leveled. I didn't get a chance to uh, find out exactly how to do that part, how to unlock that part yet. So, because I want to keep this as a blind run without 
having to look up many things, and I really don't want to. Cold spires. And I can get the one. And then all I got is those, those three to worry about. June 92. And let's see, let's have our resident fox uh, put a uh, seed in him. Wow, it's still not dead yet. I thought surely that attack would have killed it. And then see, we'll have... Jin can do it. Yeah, Jin takes care of that. Alright. Let's move on and take care of these guys. And on our way, let's take care of any necessary charging up of the spirit energy. Plant the seed, nah. Not in range. But I know if I go here, he'll be in range. So yeah, let's get him poisoned. Start on that. And we poisoned uh, Karama. Can we do that attack again? Yes, we can. And I'm just going to tell Toya to charge up. Never really do anything with them yet. And use K, that's attack with the... I've been using different attacks lately with him in this video. Just because everything is in such close combat. And really I'm not going to do anything with Karama since him being uh, poisoned. If he makes it through, he'll be fine. Then I don't have to waste. Actually, let's move Jin here. Rampant punch. Uh, that's a physical attack. It's only going to do. Doesn't do as much as the spirit attacks does. No, no one's over that way. No, because then that'll hurt. Really can't do anything. Uh, there, let's just focus. End mint. Jin just charge up. Leave this to use K to handle. Spirit gun. Yeah, this guy. He's got 200. And good. Now we can use Karana. Rose whip. Ah, oh, come. But he healed. That's cheap. I know, that's a cheap cheap. Yeah, let's take care of this guy. And 76. No, he's not in move to do the uh, 
other things, so... Death Seed Overdrive. Alright. <laughs> you missed. Alright, let's use Tornado Fist. I only got three left. And Toya not really can do anything. Oh, yeah. Let's move Yusuke up. And finally we'll charge up. Let's use the flyby kick. And we'll use Toyo's overdrive for the sword. Overkill him. And there you go, we won the battle. Let's see, Yusuke levels up. Toyo levels up. Jin levels up. Kurama leveled up. And he got defeated. We really can't do much right now with use case since his available points to powering up on the next line is all 30s. So we're going to hold up on that. Toya, on the other hand, is that we can. We can increase his offense. So I'm going to do that. Jin, uh, Jin has his power. So we're going to increase on his power. And Kurama. No, we're not going to jump up one more level on that. Uh, yeah, let's increase his power. Actually, no, he's more of an off... Yeah, we're gonna increase his power this time. And he doesn't get anything because he was defeated. So, let's move on to our next battle. For this one, I am definitely using Team Powerhouse. Powerhouse means you're a meshi with Chew. Because we lost the Nest Fighter. Now, this is a timed destroy all enemies. So, meaning exactly what it says, we have 750 minutes, seven, 750 seconds to destroy every enemy in this. on this map. And I like that he just dodges out of the way. And we'll have Yusuke help out. 320. Yeah, these wolves have a lot of uh, health. And here comes Crowbar. Take him with a double spirit sword. Yeah, I'm using my Disgaea tactics on this one here because A, we're timed. Let's see, spirit ball. Yes! And do more than 100. Let's go and do 60. Okay. And then let's see, Rose Whip. That's good, 43. Yes. Good, now we can start to take care of everybody else. 
And yeah, for this one, overdrive attacks, I am using if they do have it available. I believe like the poison only lasts like so many turns. And I'm going to tell them to focus and charge if they're not doing anything. That is going to be my tactic for this. For this map. Just have your guys wail on everybody. And keep them alive because... Let's see. Now we'll find right there. So let's attack. With the rose whip. Get some damage in on that. And yeah, you notice I'm going after the wolves first. They have the most. And of course, for use K over Jeff Spurkin. Because we have it. Yeah, I don't want this to be like a repeat of that map where we had a while back, I think in the last episode. It took me a while to do that. To do that one. Because in, uh, in my testing, everyone died. Everyone was dying on that and it was a pain and whose turn is it? Uh, it's still the demon's turn. And that's what I like about the sky. You could you you actually get a turn to move everybody. And then the enemy therefore will get a turn. Let's see. Thorn wheel? Uh, it's only going to be one. But. It works. Well, no, he's at 92. Let's take care of the wolf here. And that's what I like about Karamis Thorn Wheel. You can get yourself surrounded with that and then just let that go if you have the uh, spirit energy to do it. Uh, double spirit sword. I said, it's gonna do more than. No. It's gonna do 41. Alright, Corbo, you're gonna pull back. We gotta keep you healed. Gotta keep you healthy, Corbo. Give you some uh, muscle drink. Yeah, let's take care of this guy. And then on your next turn, we'll heal up his spirit energy. Yeah. And then, of course, we all know what's coming here. Dragon of the Darkness Flame. Right. Most of the time, it just knocks off the enemy. Uh, they have become a little bit powerful. Uh, in this case, spear gun. The guy's asking for it. Yeah, you see how use case in range right now with that. So let's see if I can get him out of range. If let's turn. Yeah, I don't want to get use case involved in that attack. 
So actually, let's go... Yeah. Whiplash Fury on that guy. And then as soon as it becomes my teammate's turn again. Okay. Until then, I am Sukune007 signing out. Will your Meshi and his team make it out of this timed event alive? Find out and stay tuned next time for more of Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. Until then, I am Sukune007 signing out. Take care, everybody, and have a nice day. And remember to check out my Lufia LP over in Mastermind LPs updated every Monday and Wednesday. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.